Hello and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Marta. I come from Norway and I love makeup and especially indie makeup and sparkly things. So today I'm going to do a get ready with me and it's going to be the first get ready with me that I've ever done. I just thought it would be a good idea because I've almost been here on YouTube for like two years now, I think, in September. Um, so it's still a couple of months, but still I have not done like any like questions or anything about me So I thought maybe it's time to do that uh, So I'm just going to try to do that while doing this makeup that I'm wearing here So I hope that it will maybe answer some of your questions about me or just get let you get to know me a little bit better because there's like over 2,000, almost 3,000 of you guys now, which is kind of insane, but I'm so appreciative that you're here. But I'm just going to do my makeup while answering these questions. And I do think I mentioned all of the products that I used, but if you are curious about some of the products, I will try to leave everything down below in my description box so you can go there and have a look for whatever it is you're interested in knowing about. And I completely forgot to mention it, but I will be using a lot of new products that I haven't tried out yet. Some of them are new to me, some of them are new. Like for example, the Glam Shop uh, new single shadows and also their loose dusts. And yeah, I just thought that could be interesting for you to know before you go into this video, but let's go. <laughs> I already did my brows because I was trying out the new uh, brow wax from Colourpop. I mean, it's new to me. But I also applied my Smashbox primer and I'm going in with Aronia by Glam Shop here with my 022 brush. And the first question is, what year were you born? And I was born in 1995, so I am 25 years old, turning 26 on August the 7th. And the second question is asking about um, where did you grow up? And that was in the town where I was born, which is called Elverum. And it's like in eastern Norway. And yeah, I don't know what else to say about that. It's a small town <laughs> with like 20,000 people living there or something. Then the next question is where do you currently live? And I currently live in a bigger city. It's one of... Norway's like more known cities. It's called Trondheim. I really like living here, but I'm not sure if we will be staying here or not because it depends if I get a job here or not because <laughs> I'm done with my studies in about a year's time. And that is actually the next question. It is, um, are you in or have you gone to college? And I guess that means like if I've been in university and yes, I've been studying for so many years now and I'm finally almost getting done because I started with biotechnology and I went um, like I studied that for like two years and then I decided to switch and then I went to start teaching instead. So it's kind of like a more advanced teaching uh, program that I'm in because you really just like I'm writing, I already wrote my bachelor in German literature and that's also what I'm going to write my master's degree in, which I'm starting in the fall. Um, now I'm taking the shade I'm stylish, by the way. Um, yeah, I feel like I could talk a lot about like what I'm studying and stuff. So if you're interested in hearing about that more, you can just leave a comment down below. But there's a lot of questions, so I'm just going to move on. And the next one is asking about how tall I am. And I am 171 centimeters, which I think is gonna be five foot seven, but I'm not completely sure if that is correct or not. But yeah, 171 centimeters. So not especially tall, but also not short. And the next question is just if I am a cat person or a dog person and I have the cutest little puppy, so of course I'm a dog person. <laughs> I love dogs. I mean, I love cats too. I could have definitely had a cat, but my partner doesn't want that. <laughs> so we'll probably get another dog once I'm done with my, my studies. Now I'm taking the shade Twinkling Cashmere and I'm just going to add that as a transition shade. Uh, and the next question is about which quote is my favorite quote. And the quote, I don't know who said it, but the quote is, you should never take criticism from someone you wouldn't take advice from. And I think that's a really good quote and a really good like advice because we all like tend to take criticism from people 
and like who don't even know us and we don't know them and especially me I'm like very sensitive to criticism and stuff and I take it really like I really take it to heart but I think we need to be a little bit more careful with who we take criticism from who you don't know you shouldn't take criticism from them because it's not sure that they want you well and yeah I just really like that quote <laughs> and the next question is actually about my favorite music I kind of twisted that question a bit because I don't have like a particular favorite song but lately I've been listening a lot to Novo Amor I'm not sure how to pronounce it um, but I really really like their music it's like super calm it's a little bit like um, Bon Iver I don't know how to pronounce that either I'm so sorry but that's like super calming music and especially when you're studying or reading or just want to relax I love listening to that kind of music so I definitely recommend you to check that out but I also love um, kind of like indie folk music so like Mumford and Sons I really like that Andrew Bird yeah I don't, I'm not the best on like artists and stuff because I just listen to like different playlists on Spotify and that kind of stuff. But those bands or artists are definitely some that I listen to a lot. Then the next question is what is my spirit animal? And that is kind of funny because I actually did uh, take a test on that and it said a beaver. And I was like, what is like, why is beaver my my spirit animal but then I like read about it and it's like the beaver is very like caring and very like um takes care of friends and family you know the beaver like builds builds his home and yeah then it kind of fit and the crazy thing is that I actually bought like this oracle deck because you know I do a tarot series here on my channel and I use cards as inspiration for color stories and I bought a spirit animal one and like the first like I opened the guidebook and the first spirit animal that came up was the beaver like and I just opened it randomly so I feel like like that was like months after I took the test so that was like kind of odd that it would open right on what is supposed to supposedly like my spirit animal <laughs> the next question is asking me about perfume like what scent is it and I actually love like fresh and fruity uh, scents and also vanilla. I love vanilla, but I often find it to be too sweet and too like musky. But I've actually been trying this perfume, like that's kind of lying. I've already used up the bottle of Alyssa Ashley Vanilla. I think that's what it's called, Alyssa Ashley Vanilla. Um, I love that one, but I also lo love like the body spray from H&M called Freewheeling. That is very fruity and the Britney Spears one in the blue. It smells a little bit like blueberries I feel like, but it can be a little bit too sweet. So lately I've been more into those um, coconutty, vanilla -y scents. So I've been using also a lot of Sol de Janeiro uh, fragrance mist. So I also like those a lot. And you can totally just answer some of these questions down below in my uh, comment section if you want. I would love to hear like your answers to these questions as well. Next question is quite simple. It's asking me for tea or coffee. I drink coffee. I drink at least one coffee a day and I make it with like oat milk, which is vegan. And I steam it because I have like this espresso machine and I use a little bit of sweetener. So I like it very sweet and I love it when the oat milk has chocolate flavor because that's like my own vegan uh, mocha coffee. So I really like that. So yeah, definitely coffee. I love coffee. <laughs> now it's asking for the next question. What are my life goals? Like that's a huge question. I don't really have like, <laughs> I feel like I don't even have any life goals. Like I just want to keep developing myself as a person to be like the best person for myself and for others to be around and yeah I don't know I just I want to of course succeed in what I do so I'm really looking forward to being done and being a teacher and being able to hopefully influence young young people's life in a good way and make them caring and reflecting and open for yeah like not to not judge people <laughs> like that's one of my goals I guess to be able to contribute to society in that way. And the next question is, 
if I have played or am playing any sports. I'm not currently playing any sports, like I really should start exercising again, but I have been doing a lot. I've been, sorry, I just took a break. Uh, I've been uh, playing uh, football for many years, but I quit around eighth grade. I also played handball for many, many years and that I also quit before we started uh, that school, which is starting in eighth grade. Um, then I started with writing actually, and I spent years writing and I did it almost every day and I loved it and I miss it so, so much. I just love horses and like the connection that you get with the horse and it's great exercise as well. I wish I could have continued with that because it just gives me so much joy and it's so relaxing. But yeah, I'm as I said, not doing any of those anymore. I also did some swimming when I was young, but that was like when I was very young. And also like gymnastics I've done for a little while. Yeah, I've done most, <laughs> most activities and I really liked all of them really. Uh, by the way, the pigment I'm using is Volcanic Ash. I really like how it's looking. It's so much more reflective and blue than I thought. <laughs> so beautiful. And I just applied it on top of Glam Glue, of course. <laughs> Next question is have has any book you read changed your life? And I'm not sure, like one book that really like gave me like an aha moment was maybe Berger and Luckman and their um, book that's called The Social Construction of Reality, just because it kind of just put words on things that I feel like, how do I even explain this? Like they put words on things that ma just made sense to me, like how the how society works and how it's built up and all that and I'm super interested in that because sociology is like part of my my study program so I'm really really intrigued by that and reading that book just really kind of was a little bit of an eye-opener to me and made me made me like look at society and look at the world and our reality a little bit different so I definitely recommend that if you are into sociology yourself or just have thoughts about society and how it works. Next question is what is my favorite movie and this is going to be like a lame answer maybe but my favorite movie I think has to be The Holiday. Like it's the perfect holiday movie and I just I love the actors in it. It's Kate Winslet, it's uh, Cameron Diaz, it's Jude Law, Jack Black. I just, I think it's such a funny and just really nice movie and I watch it every year. <laughs> but there's a lot of movies I like. So I'm just going to remove the pigment fallout. I'm sorry if you can hear all the sounds in the background, but we just got new neighbors upstairs because apparently the boys who live there <laughs> moved out and they're moving in today and yesterday, so it's been a little bit noisy, but that's fine. <laughs> and the next question is asking about my favorite YouTubers, and I do typically watch a lot of YouTube, but not that much lately because I've been so busy with my finals and stuff, but the YouTubers that I tend to watch are Angelica Nyqvist, it's Annette's Makeup Corner, I also watch like my friends here on YouTube, like for example, Millie from Bad to the Brow, Alice's Beauty Madness, um, I watch Amy Loves Makeup and I just love watching their reviews and just playing with makeup. Also Beauty Bean, of course. Like I watch a lot of YouTubers but I don't watch like one of them religiously if that makes sense. <laughs> and also someone I've recently discovered is Ava Tews and she's just so funny and so sweet and I've just really enjoyed watching her. So if you haven't checked her out, you definitely should. And I can just leave links to all of those YouTubers down in my description box if you're interested in just checking them out. Then the next question is about how many languages I speak and like how well. And obviously I speak uh, Norwegian because I'm from Norway. And I wouldn't say I speak Swedish, but I can understand basically all Swedish. There are of course some words I don't understand. And Danish I can understand when it's written but not spoken because they speak so different from us but written it's almost the same. But I do speak English of course, <laughs> we've had that in school since we were small and I speak German and I'm not sure if I would say I speak German fluently but it's like I wrote my bachelor thesis in German and I did live in Germany for a year in I think that was 11th grade or something or 12th? 12th grade. So I do speak German 
relatively good, but it's like a long time ago, so I've kind of like forgotten a lot of like regular terms that you would use and stuff, but I think if I lived in Germany just like or if I was on vacation, I would kind of just fall back into it <laughs> if that makes any sense. I was thinking I would add some shimmer to the lower lash line, but I'm kind of loving like just how simple this is. Like it's simple, but it's stunning, kind of, if I'm allowed to say so myself. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to remove all the fallout. I'm going to add some primer and then I'll be back for the foundation and concealer part. I'm actually going to try the Sol Body Foundation, but like you can see the color, it does not look like it's for me. Uh, this is the lightest one in Fair 2, so hopefully they will come out with some lighter ones, but I mean it's supposed to be sheer, so we can hope. I'm just going to try a little bit to see like how horrible will this be. Yeah, this is not going to look very pretty, I think. It's completely yellow. Like, I'm just going to <laughs> take half of it on the other cheek. I don't know why, but I never managed to buy... Like, I just bought the it, it Cosmetics one as well in Fair, and it was just way too deep for me, so I'm just gonna have to give it all away. Luckily, I did get another foundation as well from Colourpop, and this one, I think, is my shade. Um, this one is in Fair 20. And it's actually not the lightest one, but... Oh, I hate pumps like this. It's not the lightest one, but I just figured from looking at the pictures of the models that this might be the right color for me. And I think I was quite right. This looks way better. I'm not sure how pigmented this is, though. <laughs> anyway, uh, the next question is... Are you single or taken? <laughs> well, I have a partner. We've been together for I don't even know how long now. Um, Probably, like... Is it four years already? I think maybe three, four years. I don't even remember which year we got together. <laughs> oh my god. But yeah, we live together and we've lived together for almost two years now. And I think we were together for at least one year before we moved together. So there's that. <laughs> Next question is my favorite color. And that is super hard because I kind of like a lot of colors. Like all colors really. But I especially like like mustard tones. I like foresty deep greens and burgundies. I love purples as you can see on this <laughs> look right here. I love green. Yeah, those are like my main favorite shades, I guess. And the next question is about personality type, like the Meyer Briggs personality type. And I am an INFJ, which is uh, the advocate, and it means like introverted, intuitive, feeling, and judging. <laughs> and yeah, I guess that I feel like that's right because I've taken this test so many times in different years and it's always ended up being the same. But I have also been close to being the other type that is like the architect or something, but I'm an INFJ. <laughs> Next question is about how long is my long was my longest relationship and that is the relationship I'm oh, I'm in. So as I said, I don't even remember which year we got together. Maybe like 2018. I don't remember. I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah, we've been together for some years now. So I'm just going to take uh, this one. It's the bronzer from Soul Body, but it looks really orange kind of. Um, so I'll definitely go in with my contour afterwards. I'm just trying to pick it up on the brush and see if that works. Did get some. <laughs> well, this is so scary. It smells really nice like coconutty. Okay, so that's not too bad actually. Like sure, it's warm, but it applies really nicely. Yeah, it's definitely a little bit too orangey for me, for my preferences, but I will try it out a few more times before deciding what to do with it. Um, yeah, that is the Soul Body in Light, by the way. And I know this won't be like the best match, but I'm going to try the Freck Cheek Slime in Fielding for my cheeks. This is quite like orangey and warm which i should have probably gone for something a little bit more pink but i'm just so excited to try this one out so i just had to use it today wow it's quite pigmented and it blends nicely i think like it looked a little bit patchy when i swatched it but clearly you're going to have another experience when you actually put it on your skin with a brush and I only took like the smallest little dot on my hand, as you could see. I'm just taking a little bit more, but not fully as much. Just to have a little bit more for this side. Oh, and the next question is how many siblings do I have? 
and I have an older brother who was born in 90, so he's five years older than, older than me. And I actually have a twin sister. Like, we don't, we're not identical, so we don't look that much the same, but you can definitely see that we're, we're sisters. <laughs> so yeah, it's really nice to have a twin sister and like, you can share so much because you have like all the same experiences and still we're like so different. It's so funny. <laughs> so for concealer, I'm going to use the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Creamy Concealer. This is also new. This is very light. Uh, it seems, but I am quite light, so I hope this will work for me. If not, I have several that are darker that I can't use, so... This is in the shade Fair 05 Warm. And as usual, I'm using my Glam Brush in 021 to blend this out. As you can see, I don't typically use that much concealer, just because I don't feel like you need to use a lot. Better to use a small amount. And next question is asking about favorite Netflix TV series, and I think that might be The Haunting of Hill House. I just love that series. I've seen it so many times. It's kind of creepy, but also it's just a great storyline. When it all comes together in the end, you're like, what the hell is happening? Really great entertainment in my opinion. Maybe I'll watch it again in summer now. I'm really liking the concealer actually. Like, I'm just going to add a tiny bit more just before I go in with powder and I'll do that off camera. But yeah, I'm really liking the finish of this. I don't feel like the foundation looks the best just because it was a little bit patchy. I think it's because I need to wash my foundation brush though. So I do kind of like the whole finish of it though. It's not too matte, even though it's a matte foundation, but I have combination skin, so yeah. <laughs> So I finished with contour powder and powdered my whole face and I added some of my free base from Urban Decay here, which is that white base. And now I'm just taking Glam Shop Loose Pigment Dust in the shade Arctic, which is just a cool toned light blue pigment, it seems. <laughs> so we're actually already on the second to last question, which would kind of fit perfectly because I'm almost done. <laughs> So it is about my favorite ice cream and my favorite ice cream, I think I would have to say pistachio because <laughs> we have this delicious ice cream with pistachio flavor and like small chocolate chip bites and I just really like that one. It's so good. But I also really like ice cream with like fruity flavors or just strawberry or chocolate as well. I think I'll have to find something to wear for my lips and I do still need highlighter. I'm just going to use M Cosmetics Moonlight Highlighter because that's like a blue purpley highlighter and it's just so glowy and beautiful. So I'm just gonna go with that for today because I have a purpley look. Um, and then I can answer the last question while I find some lipstick. So the last question is, what is your star sign? Do you relate to it? And since I already said I was born in August, so I'm a Leo and no, I do not really relate to it because Leos are like supposed to be so confident and center of attention, which I feel like I'm not. <laughs> um, I'm kind of a little bit like self-conscious and... I feel like I never really am able to be like super confident about my opinions or anything like that just because I'm always like thinking that I don't know enough about anything to really have an opinion about it. Um, so yeah, that is why I rarely do these shoddy videos with opinions and stuff because I feel like I'm so scared of saying something wrong or saying something that might hurt someone but that would definitely not be my intention but like that is of course not what matters what matters is if I hurt someone and I'm just so scared of saying anything wrong about anything <laughs> should I just go all in and use a purple lipstick I feel like I should I actually got this new lip liner that goes perfectly with it this is from melt and this is called 1979 and this is Arabian Nights by Colored Rain. I'll just do that. So that is definitely bold. I do like it. Maybe I'm like a Leo in makeup. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I'm just going to put on some mascara and lashes and then I'm basically finished. <laughs> And 
that is my finished look and I turned out very purple today. I did not know that's where I was headed but I love it and I had to like put on this purpley sweater just because it really fits these colors and Luke here is a little bit <laughs> attention sick but he's so cute so it's fine. Yes, I love you so much. <laughs> But yeah, I really love how the look ended up looking like and I'm so excited to have been trying like all of these uh, new products and yeah, I need to of course try them out more but I will, as I said, leave all of them down below in my description box and I'll keep on using them and talk about them in my videos. Uh, I do hope that you like this video. <laughs> it's quite new for me so if you have any tips on how to do this kind of video better then just leave it down below in the comment section and I'll be super happy to hear some constructive criticism as well and yeah please answer some of the questions yourself because I would love to know more about you guys as well because I talk to some of you guys a lot in the comment section but I don't really know a lot about you which would have been so cool to do. <laughs> but this was probably a long video so I think I will just end it here. So if you liked it then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content from me and hopefully I will see you in my next video. Bye!